Hello Jeff and all the Supernatural fans out there. Uh, today is Saturday around 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, wrapping up, uh, getting ready to head back to the city. So I just kind of wanted to let everybody know what has went on with the Impala this weekend. This is Darkness, Jeff's uh, Impala. Jeff lives up in Canada. Uh, the Impala today uh, had a, not as much as I wanted to get done, but then again I never do. Uh, it seems like every time I come down here I have plans and then for some reason something happens or we fight things so uh, I didn't get as much as I wanted done this weekend because uh, I lost my set of extra set of hands in the shop which is my dad uh, he got called out of town for uh, a family emergency so uh, I'm down here by myself trying to get as much as I could done uh, without my father being here to have lend me that extra set of hands I figured there was a lot of things that could be done on the car so First thing that we're going to do is we're going to come around through here and you're going to start seeing the weapons box. I uh, got it here inside of the darkness. Uh, the box is made. Uh, obviously we still have to get everything leveled, uh, the welded cage put around it, and then of course the hidden floor on top of everything. But I did go ahead and get these, this one, this one, and this one. These pieces made, cut, glued, screwed in, carpeted and everything. So that was one thing I just got uh, off the list this weekend. So next time when we get on this, it's, it's all elbows and assholes and it'll be done here pretty quick. Um, coming back around, something else that I did this weekend, time consuming stuff. And time consuming stuff is anybody that builds their own impalas, you're going to find out that taking stuff out of the dash, which I had most of the stuff out, but getting things uh, ready for paint all kind of masked off and everything so basically what's going to happen next is um, the car is going to or the dash and thing will be scrubbed down or wiped down scrubbed and uh, basically to put the die on it we use the same die for the kick panels and headliner and all that stuff um, it gets the metal gets scrubbed down with the green scouring pad then hot soapy water and then uh, let it dry and then shoot so that's what the dash and everything's looking like uh, so it's getting all of course you know getting over here like in the door jam so that way no overspray happens on your new black paint so hear that door squeak sound familiar uh, next we're going to come over here which took me a long time to do is taping off the door panels the door panels are now all taped off you can't see them because the way I have them stacked uh, because I don't want, I don't know if you can see this, this nail here that comes through on the door panels. I don't want those tearing up anything, so they're kind of reversed. But all the door panels, every little bit of them is taped off. I next went and taped off the steering wheel. And I actually had a uh, half a can of the buckskin. So I masked it all off and it's all painted. And then I wrapped the steering wheel. So it's ready to be back installed once uh, I get the inside done. So this took actually a long time to do because it's very, very tedious work. And then another thing uh, that I did, little, 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 there's the seats are getting ready to go in. Right here, the ignition uh, switch has been removed. I shit you not, it probably took me in over close to two hours, maybe two and a half hours. That thing fought me the entire damn way. Finally, finally, after out here sweating my ass off, I got it undone. So, anyway, so that's what it's looking like this week. Uh, next weekend, unfortunately, I have to work uh, for my real job. I don't get a play next weekend. Because if I got a play next weekend, the weapons box would definitely be done. And probably a good chance that the dash and everything would be all shot. Um, and then basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the, uh, well, of course, tear off the carpet and then I'm just going to barely bolt the front seat in. And then this is going to get taken back up to my buddy Terry and he's going to fix the headliner. It's kind of because they took the rear window out and stuff. So then once that gets fixed, then I'll get the cell panels and da, 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 everything in. So that's where we're at right now. Um, I don't want to say I lost a weekend here down here doing this because uh, the things I did had to be done anyway. 
and they are very, very time consuming. And so really, with my dad away, uh, this just kind of maybe worked out for the best uh, because otherwise he'd be kind of sitting around while I was taping off stuff. So really the, the good news is that when I get my extra set of hands back here in the shop, things are going to go pretty quick because I got all the time consuming stuff done. So um, like I said, we'll get this here all leveled out, welded in, um, get the floor carpeted, weapons box will be done. Uh, so there we go. There, that's what happened this weekend on your car. It doesn't look like a lot, but man, the guys that do this, that are doing your own cars, you guys know how long that takes to do that little stuff. Uh, very, like I said, time consuming. I just can't stress that enough. And you know, when you pay somebody, when you, you guys that are going to send your cars out and you're going to have them done by someone else, either by myself or another shop in your hometown or whatever, whatever that shop's costing you an hour, all that little tedious shit that I just kind of was showing, that's what you're getting billed an hour, you know. Um, I cut Jeff's uh, time off, you know, on this because... One, uh, Jeff should have had this car last year and things came up with on my end that I didn't get a chance to finish it. So I cut my labor cost off. So what I'm doing now, you know, it just happens. But Jeff's a good guy. He deserves this car. Um, I'm changing out the engine for him for free. Um, I always take care of my customers. I always, always do. I, str I can't stress that enough. Talk to people that's dealt with me. They'll tell you. So anyway, Jeff... I hope you like what I got done this weekend. I know it doesn't kind of look like a lot, but trust me, it's actually a big chunk out of it. So uh, next weekend, I, unfortunately, I'm going to be in Denver, Colorado for my real job. Get to spend all week in classes because I'm so lucky. But after that, darkness is going to come to uh, a head. So I'm really hoping that I can get a lot done and then... Uh, pull that motor, get it swapped out, everything going awesome, and call you up and say, come get your darkness. So anyway, brother, uh, I will talk to you later. All the fans, obviously, uh, come over to Everything Supernatural on Facebook. Uh, if you have questions, I'm more than welcome or happy to answer all your questions about things. Uh, I just don't really answer questions here on YouTube. I don't come over here except for to post videos so I can move these videos over to Facebook. So anyway, I hope you guys have a safe and happy rest of the weekend. And probably next video will probably actually be coming here in two weeks because next week I'm out of commission thanks to my job. So anyway, uh, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.